and uh, you only get them if you pay money. Oh, I see. Well, that's a very <laughs> worthwhile cause, and I, I'll see what I've got in the wallet it's, later. It's, but it's a charity, so it's, uh, it's all right. But. OK. Let's see our first game on the board right now. Here comes a puzzle. Here comes a clue word. The clue word is waterproof. We're looking for the key word. Mary and Barry have won the toss, and they're going first. Use a clue, folks. Four across, please. This king was mortified by Mallory. Arthur. Yes, he was. Well done. <laughs> Six, that's a six points. Over to Keith and Rachel. Three down, please. She can go anywhere on board. Queen? Yes, she can. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello the buzz has gone, and Keith you. thinks it's... Duck. Oh, so it's, uh, Rachel, <laughs> it's Rachel. Oh, sorry, just read and see him, move, I, did you? I thought it was a warning. It's, it's not, no, it's, it's an answer. No, duck. and it's not right, I'm afraid. Right. Good try. Shows you thinking, though. Oh, I'm thinking. Shows you thinking. Early in the game. Right, Mary and Barry. What do you think? One down. One down. One down, please. One down, please. He was called to Bray and Wakefield. Vicar. The Vicar of Bray. <laughs> Special calling, of course. So, Keith and Rachel. We've got no, to do a clue. Duck. It's right, I'm just getting on so um, well. We'll have two across, please. I'm still working out where Duck come with Arthur, actually. <laughs> <laughs> duck, Arthur, right, oh, no. <laughs> two across. He burnt it with the scones. <laughs> When she's yeah, when, when they came in, they said you've heard the case about a dog. When she's well groomed, she's given away. Bride. Oh, yes, of course she is. <laughs> very embarrassing. I've moved on. I'm going to be very strict. I'm sorry because you ducked me already. So <laughs> four down, please. The first man to design fireplaces. Adam. Yes, he was. <laughs> So, Keith and Rachel, you have charge of the game. You've got to answer me five across. I'll tell you what it is. Inclined to be slim, are you? Lean. Yes. Now. <laughs> For ten points, we think it is? Cloth. No, it isn't. We have some brilliant ideas here, don't I we? I want to know why... Tell me about cloth after. It'll probably take as long as Gone with the Wind to explain it, but never mind. That is not the right answer. Mary and Barry, do you want to press your buzzer and guess? All the clues are there. Vicar and Arthur and Adam and Lean. Your clue is waterproof, and we think it is? <coughs> I'm absolutely stumped. I just pressed the button out of uh, sort of a terrible thing. I, w I was wondering about duck and no. cloth myself. All right, I'll give you an extra clue. Fingers on the buzzers, everybody, all right? You've got all the answers, Vicar and Arthur and what have you, and waterproof's the big one. Let me tell you this then. Scott in the rain. Macintosh. Uh, I'm going to say no to that. Great. Would you believe I'm going to say no to that? Aren't I awful? <laughs> the audience were on your side, but they're wrong. Mary and Barry. Scott in the rain was the clue I gave you. Scott in the rain. Press your buzzer. Anything? Mac. It is Mac. Oh. <laughs> It's Mac Bride, Mac Vicar, Mac Arthur, Mac Queen. Do you see what I mean? So Macintosh, yes. you were right, but we wanted the abbreviated yes. version, unfortunately. So what, what can I say about that? Well, Sorry. You could, um, I'll tell a quick joke. Yes, tell a quick joke. There's a fellow when the ship was being abandoned and somebody shouted down, is there a Macintosh there that can go, that can keep three ladies warm? He said, no, but there's a Mac Tavish who's quite prepared to try. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the end of the round, Keith and Rachel have 14, but Mary and Barry have 25. Well Let's move on to our musical round. You think the first one was hard? Well, you see this. We're looking for the title of a well-known song. I'll give you a clue. It won't be a long title, obviously, because we can't fit all the answers in. But we are looking for four words. We're looking for a four-word song title. I'll tell you that much. Mary and Barry are leading. Choose a clue. One down. One down, please. I'll beg your pardon. The clue word is decoration. I didn't tell you that. One down. The low down on how the red arrows fly. Formation. Formation. I'm going to say no to that one while the audience gasps, but I move across to Keith and Rachel. We'll take three across, please. Water that runs in Bath and Buxton. It's healthy water, spa water. <laughs> no answer. So back to Mary and Barry, who I think have resolved everything. Now. We'll try one down again, Don't please. You like? The low down on how the red arrows fly. In formation. In formation. Uh, <laughs> Good answer gets you 11 points, in fact. Keith and Rachel. Uh, two across. We'll go for the little one. Verity lost it exceedingly well. 
Um, very. Very. Take it out of verity. <laughs> yeah, you're good at the little ones, Rachel. You really are. I'm only good on the little one, right? Ooh, Dawkins, Mary and Mary. We'll try three across, please. Water that runs in Bath and Buxton. <laughs> oh, it's, it's quite easy, I see what you think about it. Keith and Rachel? Um, because we were so sharp on that before, we'll go for two down. Right. <laughs> Patch in the garden or chilly without the carny? Vegetable. You don't need oh, your buzzer. Sorry. Thing, <laughs> right. <laughs> <He's Let's laughs> <laughs> Just because I jumped on you one time, you don't need to press the buzzer. <laughs> well done, vegetables, right? No offers on the keyword though. So we're back to Mary and Barry. Five across, please. Henry Ford's T, for example. What a poser. Model. Model T. <laughs> no offers four words we're looking forward, including the definite article. I'll tell you that much. Four words. Keith and Rachel. We'll try four down, please. Because we can't do three across. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The Beast of Orwell's Farm. Animal. Animal Farm is right. <laughs> so back to Mary and Barry, who have got to have three across, that ever popular one. For those who haven't remembered this already, I'll go, go again. Water that runs in Bath and Buxton. Mineral. Yes, that's right. Wonderful. got all the answers in a couple of seconds to have a guess at the keyword information mineral very vegetable animal nothing two one it's gone Keith and Rachel do you want to press your buzzer tell me what it is four words including the definite article any offers no no Done. all right fingers on the buzzers everybody decoration is a good clue by the way decoration is a good clue those words are in the song the other things I'll tell you this not a field marshal but up to date not a field marshal but up to date. And no? Is it a song title? Or Gilbert and Sullivan. Yes. Oh, the very model of a modern major general. The, ma the modern major general is what we're after. Well done. <laughs> Because it was so hard to get, I didn't ask you to sing it. You don't want to try any of it. <laughs> well, I, I had to work my way right through the song with my heart to the title. Oh, give us a give us a bit of the beginning. Go on. No. <laughs> I've come over all shy. I mean, all right. Then. Well, I am, the, I am the very model of a modern major general. It goes on and on and on. It includes those words eventually. Well done. I was giving you not field marshal, but up to date and for yes. modern. Never mind, who, who cares? The end of the round. Good scores going up. Keith and Rachel, 33, but Mary and Barry, 58. <laughs> On to a mystery round, as if the other two weren't hard enough anyway. <laughs> Here's a puzzle. No clue word, of course, because one team hopefully gives me a correct answer, guesses the key word and wins this. There we are, cordless telephone. That's the prize. Let's move across and tell Mary and Barry to choose a clue. Two across, please. This helmet is a woolen hood. Balaclava. Yes. <laughs> Mary and Barry, you have control of the board. Press your buzzer, tell me what it is. Battles. They are battles, well done. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what, apart from one other, that was probably the best one to get. I think you went for it because it was the longest answer for yes. most points. I think probably that was right. Uh, but you were quite, they are battles. Let me fill in the gaps. Three across was the Battle of the Nile. Four was mm -hmm. Sedan. Five was Midway. I might have got it from that. Maybe you wouldn't. One down was Bulge. And two was Britain. <laughs> Battle of Britain. There we are. They led oh, you to the answer. Ten then. points and the cordless telephone. Well done. Keith and Rachel. Well done. Yes, I, I would have got the others. Keith and Rachel, you stay on 33, regrettably, but Mary and Barry are 77. <laughs> but things could change a pace in part two, so don't go far away. Join us, in fact, right after this. like you've never been gone. Let's go into our anagram round. Here it comes. Here's the puzzle. Here's the clue word. Clue word says reds. And I can say right now that the folks who are trailing are Keith and Rachel, so they're going to choose the first clue. Off you go. 
Uh, four across, please, Tom. A smooth talker with connections. Speakers? No. All right, keep thinking. Mary and Barry. Two down. Two down, yes. Two down, please. Are they the closest residents in Ramsey Street? Neighbours. Yes. <laughs> Good neighbours. Our dog's whistling that now. Right, <laughs> gives you a letter N after all that trouble. Keith and Rachel. I took Ford across again. Ford across again, she says. A smooth talker with connections. Speakers. No, it would have fitted too. What it a shame. I wouldn't have said it if it hadn't fitted. Oh, no, I know. Because right. I'm clever, you know, like that. Like. It's a bit like Macintosh <laughs> yes. in the first round. OK. Mary and Barry. Mary thinks we know the answer to this. Four can, across? Yes. I'll can, give you no, again. no, well, to the whole thing. Can, oh, we, right, can we have a go at it? Or? No, you've got to give me an answer first. All right. Uh -huh. uh, we've got six. Six across. The growler in the Arctic. Sneaky old clue, that one. Keith and Rachel. Stop there, um, Callum. Uh, I'm determined to have a go at that four across again, okay. but uh, six across. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's a woman for you, right. The growler in the Arctic. Blubber. No. Oh, I thought that was pretty good. Oh, look at that blubber, it's growling at me. Yeah. <laughs> Something bad. Something bad. Mary, what kind of a world do you two live in at all? <laughs> Mary and Barry, sorry. Five down, please. <laughs> Quite right. Change the subject. Body part for a piper. Mm. And these are the easy ones. <laughs> Keith and Rachel. Uh, three down, please. Oh, I was going to have a go at four across again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you both. You're not getting any of them right. Three, three down. A rough copy of pumped ale, we hear. Draft. Yes, well done. <laughs> Five points, but more importantly, letter D. Don't forget we're looking for an anagram of all these first letters. Mary and Barry. One down. Stingy, that's what I have in mind. Mean. Mean, well done. Uh, <laughs> now, we're on to it. We think the key word is? We think it's Indians. No, we don't anymore. Oh, with a shame, you can't spell it with them. <laughs> Indians. <laughs> we don't think it's Indians. <laughs> OK, then. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to try Hindus or anything like that? No. Oh, oh. I'm comparing to him again. <laughs> well, then, mulling that one over, Keith and Rachel, choose a clue, please. Oh, my God. Um, Mindians. Yes. Um, <laughs> have we had five down? You can have it again. But we didn't do very well the last no. time, did we? Um, do you want eight across? Yes, on I the next one, one we'll have... Um, <laughs> Six across. Six across. Your, your favourite. The growler in the Arctic. Now you whittle it down, you know it's not blubber. Um, something. Now, that really is a sneaky clue. Mary and Barry. Let's, let's try four across again, just as well. We'll have a go at four across again, please. A smooth talker with connections. Now, shall I pause on this four across and give everyone an extra clue? Mm. Yes, Would that help? Well, could we just change the whole damn lot? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think she means the question master as well. Yes. I'm not happy. Yes. I, I only read them, love. I don't set them. You understand? <laughs> yes. Right. Fingers on the buzzers. Four across. The original clue. A smooth talker with connections. I'll tell you right now. You dial a hundred for him. Operator. Uh, yes. And keep. Operator. Operator. <laughs> You're a smooth operator. Okay, now there's a button. You've got that. You're going to press your buzzer and you think it is? Demons. No, it's not. It's worth a try. It was worth very close. Do I get half a point? Uh, no. no. I'll see you later. Well, it's very good. Mary and Barry, now we're back to Officer's Choice again here, really. Five down, please. Right. If you don't get this one, maybe I'll give you an extra clue again. Body part for a piper. Heart. Not half. Good try. Keith and Rachel, we're on five down, body part for a piper. Do you want that one, or shall I um, give you an extra clue on that? Tubes. No, good idea, good idea. You know, your food goes down your tubes. And yeah, yes, sure. and that'd be very handy for a pipe. Of course it would. <laughs> OK, right. stay on five down, then. 
Body part for a piper. On the buzzers, everybody, I'll tell you this. Uh, can be played in a loft. Yes? Organ. Organ loft. <laughs> Pipe organ. Pipe organ, and there's no buzzer, so we're back to Keith and Rachel. Guess what you've got? Six oh, across. Yes. But you've got an extra letter now, so that might help you. Uh, uh, we know what it is. Right, right. Six across, the growler in the Arctic. Iceberg. Icebergs growl. <laughs> when the melted <laughs> buzzer is. Rachel, you're on the buzzer, you've got to tell me it's... Domino. Domino is right, well done. <laughs> it was Domino, and for those at home who weren't sure, Reds, of course, the Domino principle, if one country had gone communist, the whole lot would have gone. Well, I never knew that. <laughs> you know. well, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Most obscure. I know it's true, but having to... <laughs> it's the Irish thing of, sure, you know things now you never knew before. But there you are. <laughs> The end of the round. Keith and Rachel are up to 63, but Mary and Barry, 96. <laughs> Let's go back to a normal round. There's plenty of time left, he says. About four seconds, I would have thought. Here comes the puzzle. There's the clue word. Spectators. Leaders go first. Mary and Barry. Should we have two across? Yes, have two. Two across, please. Showing fright when the engine fires. Mm. No. Keith and Rachel. Uh, one down, one please. Down. One hopes to take it during a delivery. Orders? Not orders, no. Good idea, because, you know, the order boy delivered. Mm. Mary and Barry? Well, shall we try one down? Try one down. One down, we think. One hopes to take it during a delivery. A wicket. A wicket, of course. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like 15 love to the MCC there, dear. <laughs> now, you, you, now, Keith and Rachel have pressed the buzzer, which you can't do, because you've got to answer a question. I was just saying I'm sorry. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> right. well, we're back to you, dear. You can choose any other clue you wish. Uh, three across, three across yes. Such an opportunity to shine. Treat, polish, treat, my opportunity. Uh, Missed. No. Good try. Mary and Barry. Three down. Try. Three down, please. A blessing on the Duke's address. <laughs> no. Yeah. Right, so... Oh, there we go. Well, I'll put you out of your... Uh, misery Communal right. misery, I was sort of, I started struggling with the word. Two across, showing fright when the engine fires is starting. Uh. Three across golden uh, opportunity of Shamus, golden opportunity. Four would have been Jaffa, five was going to be Pearly, and three down, a blessing on the Duke's address was Grace. Your Grace. And they all should have led you to Gates. Starting Gates, Golden Gate, Jaffa Gate, Pearly Gates. Wicked, the gate in cricket were between the, and the Grace Gate of Lords. <laughs> so there we are. Never mind, we didn't need any of those answers because at the end of the round, the end of the game, Keith and Rachel have 63, a good score, but the winners are Murray and Barry with 102. <laughs> Thank you for playing the game. You do have our two books, our thanks. Take Rachel home, but please don't lose her. Make sure she gets back to the reception. Make Thank sure she's back in time for the, the show tomorrow. Thank you, Rachel, for playing Thank the game. You Thank you. Stay with us, what, two more minutes as we go into our crossfire round. We wish well to Mary and Barry. I know what the holiday is. In fact, it's in this voucher here. All you've got to do to win it is solve the puzzle. Here it is. There's ten clues, 60 seconds. All right, concentrate hard, folks, and choose a clue. Two down, please. Photo negative affected by the weather. Five across. A salesman dealing in trifles. Six across. Sly, the Italian one. Eight across. Rotted for ten years, we hear. Mm. Decayed. Yes. Seven down. Show of temper in a rice field. Paddy. Paddy. Yes. Eight down. Become evident in the morning. Nine across. Shoppers who look for glass. Window. Yes. Uh, four down. Lagging for the back part. Three down. Filled with holes and it's a puzzle. Riddle. Yes. Six across. 
Sly, the Italian one. One across. Could you forget to lose it? Memory. Yes. Oh, <laughs> brave try. Not easy, I've got to tell you. <laughs> Very quickly, very quickly, Mary, a salesman dealing in trifles was a peddler. Sly the Italian stallion. Photo negatives affected by the weather exposure. Lagging the back part was behind, lagging behind. At eight down, evident in the morning was dawn. Everything dawns, but far too late. Never mind. You do have your pen and pencil set? Thank you. You called us telephone? Yes. Thank you for playing the game. And I'm sure anyone who listens to any more speeches of yours will stay wide awake. I do hope so, thank you. Will you stay wide awake with us, Barry, and see us again? I look forward to it tomorrow time. morning. Right, all right. We'll see you same time, same station. Until we do, take care of yourselves. It's never a crossword, all right? Bye. <laughs>
and our third Hot Wheel. Still dancing our hearts away. Linda, can come is what we were looking for. Well done. You get the bonus letter R. You can see why this lady uh, keeps on winning, can't you? She's, she's quick on that buzzer. Okay, our next Hot Wheel. Come on, you two. Linda, flamenco. It's exactly right. Well played. Bonus letter I goes to you. That's how quickly you've got to think, Caroline and Michael. Linda, can't let her get too far ahead. If we look at uh, well, the scores, well, Caroline and Michael haven't scored just yet, but there's still plenty of time, not to worry. And Linda is ahead with four bonus letters. Well done, Linda. <laughs> Okay, round two is called Odd Letter Out, and that's because we want you to try and identify three words that are spelt almost identically, except there's a one letter difference between them, okay? This is an individual round, and to help you, I'll give you the number of letters and the words that we're looking for, and clues for each one. So, we'll take a look at an example. There are the clues, jab, coal, and system, four letter words, and for coal, a word similar, coke, Jab, poke, system, code. So it's just a one letter difference between all three words. So if you get one, it makes it an awful lot easier. You've got 30 seconds to get all three words, okay? So although it helps to get one to start with, you really must give me all three to win the bonus letter. And if you only get one or two, I'll be able to throw it open to your other opponents. Okay, Linda, if we look at your clues. There they are, boast, coin, grizzle. Your time starts now, looking for five-letter words. It's coin, money, penny. Nope. nope. Cash. Um, Keep trying. Moans. Nope. <coughs> You've got 15 seconds left, Linda. Rag. Uh, Words associated with boast, coin, and grizzle. Oh, Linda, bad luck. You ran out of time. The other two. Either of you? Nope. Okay, well, what we were looking for, coin, groat, boast, gloat, and grizzle, groan. Okay, quite a difficult one there, actually. Michael, let's see how you fare. Let's take a look at your clues. Shut, selected, pursue. Five-letter words, and your time starts now. Close. For shut, yes. Choose. Well done. Chase. Yes. Very well played indeed. You win the bonus letter S and you've broken your duck. Congratulations, Michael. Caroline, let's see how you get on. These are your clues. Seafood, pulled and sink. Five letter words. Your time starts now. Words connected with. of time <laughs> but Linda you can do it pulled is drawn yes and sink drain no I'm oh. afraid not Michael is it drone is it drone it is indeed very well done indeed the last one is drown so Michael you win the bonus letter W well played okay we'll play this game one more time but this time we'll have uh, fingers on the buzzers and the first person to answer with all three words will win the bonus letter so if you're ready I am there are the clues. Enough, fruit, and volunteer. Your time starts now. Five letter words. Remember that I must have all three. Linda. Enough, ample. Yes, well done. Fruit, apple. Yes. And volunteer, apply. Yes, very well played indeed. Excellent. You did that in about 15 seconds. That was very well played.
Well, if we look at the uh, scores now, we can see that Caroline's still on a duck. But don't worry, Caroline, don't be disheartened because you never know what will happen in the second half. Michael has two bonus letters, but out in the lead is Linda with five bonus letters. Well, that's where we have to take our break now, but don't go away. After the break, we'll be playing our Wheel of Words, so see you in a moment. Welcome back to Take a Letter. This is where I have you all thinking in circles because it's our Wheel of Words round. But before we do that, Michael, I want to ask you, I know that you love all things French, but um, you spent some time as a cowboy, is that right, over in Paris? Tell us about that. Yes, I, I worked in Euro Disney and um, I worked in uh, Thunder Mesa, which was uh, in the frontier land, the cowboy part, and uh, I sold Stetsons <laughs> and cowboy boots, all the cowboy, you know, at get up kind of thing. Yeah, was it fun? It was amazing fun, very hard work though. Anyway, this, uh, our next round, is the Wheel of Words round. Um, we're going to spin a wheel to reveal 12 letters. You have to identify five different words which we have selected that can be formed from those 12 letters. All the words are directly connected to a theme, and to help you, I'll give you a one-letter clue to each word, okay? So, um, we'll have a look at an example. The theme here is the army. So the wheel would go round, and when it stops turning, you will get 30 seconds to start answering your five words. The one-letter clue here is a C, and the word we're looking for is March, okay? But you'll have five each. If you can't get one, please do move on, because 30 seconds isn't very long. So just say pass, we'll move on, and time will try and come back. Okay, so if you all understand that, we'll start with you, Linda. It's an individual round, no helping from anyone else. Just you, Linda, on your own. Your theme, at the hairdressers. Think about things to do with the hairdressers. Your time starts now. Pass. Okay, pass. First one. Mm. Pass. Bleach. Yes, well played. Cut. Yep. Well done. Colour. Uh, pass. Okay, we'll go back. Oh, sorry, pass. Ten seconds left, Linda. Home. Yes, well done. Cut. 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 Out of time. Well played. You got three there. That was very well played. Let's take a look at the words. The first one, trim, we were looking for. Comb, you got that. Bleach, you got right. And cut, you spotted. And the other one we were looking for, chair. But well played, Linda. You got three bonus letters there. Excellent stuff. Michael, let's see how you fare. Your subject is public transport. All different forms of public transport. Remember, if you don't get one, move on. Your time starts now. Pass. Okay. Tram. Yes, well done. Coach. Yep. Car. Nope, not what we're looking for. Pass. Okay. Bus. Yes. Pass. The other one we're looking for. We've got two to get. Van. No, it's not what we want. Pass. Okay, we'll go back. Okay, Michael, you're out of time, but let's take a look and uh, see what you got and what you didn't get. The first one, tube, you didn't manage to spot. Tram, you did. Coach, you did. The next one, cab, was what we were looking for. You kept saying car, but of course we wanted public transport. And the last one, bus, you did get. So, at the end of that, you get three bonus letters. Very well done, Michael. <laughs> Caroline, it's time for you to change your luck this time. No, you will, don't worry. And your theme is tea time. All things to do with tea time. My favourite time of the day. The time starts now. Uh, brew. Yes, well played. Pass. Okay, we'll move on. Uh, roll. Pass. Pass. The last one. Loaf. Mm. Tea time. Nope.
Okay, uh, we'll take a look at, um, at the words you missed out, Caroline, but you did get the first one, right? Well done. That was brew. Well played. The second one, we wanted bag. Boil. Pot. And leaf. Never mind, you've broken your duck now. You've got a bonus letter. Well played, Caroline. Okay, if we look at some um, of the scores at the end of that round, Caroline's broken her duck now. Thank goodness she's got one bonus letter. <laughs> Michael has five, and Linda is in the lead with eight. <laughs> this is a buzzer round, and uh, it's a pretty crucial one because only two of you will go onwards, and as I said, it'll be the two with the most bonus letters um, can play in the grid match. This round is called Take and Make. I want you to identify two words. I will give you clues for both words plus a bonus letter. Um, if we take a look at a, an example, things will become easier. There we are. The bonus letter in this instance is the R, and the clue, take an R and turn a tall plant into a golfer's support. Well, the plant is a tree, okay, and the golfer's support is the T. Okay, so if you take one letter away, you make another word. That's it. That's all there is to it. And it's a buzzer round. So the first person to hit the buzzer may answer. If they get it wrong, I'll pass it to their opponents. And off we go. Take a D and turn a channel. Michael? Ditch. Mm -hmm. Itch. Well played. That was a gamble that paid off, wasn't it? Because I hadn't even finished the clue. The clue being take a D and turn a channel into an irritation. Very well played. You score the bonus letter D. Next one, take an F and turn turn over into the cup. Linda? Flip and lip. Well done. Very well done, Linda. You get the bonus letter F. Take an S and turn... Linda? Speak and peak. Well done. That was a gamble. I haven't even finished. Take an S and turn utter into a pinnacle. Yes, indeed. Speak and peak. You win the bonus letter S. Well played there. Take a G and turn... Linda? Glow and low. That was incredible. I hardly even got the clue out there. Take a chicken to the world.